Hey, I just wanted to make a quick video clarifying the cam timing on the SR20 DET. After watching some other videos on YouTube and such, I thought my cam timing might have still been off. It turned out I had a coil pack die after I did my head gasket. So, on top of the other videos, let me put your time mark on that second notch on your harmonic balancer that is top dead center. This dowel, not that dot, but this dowel should be at the 12 o'clock, which I had kind of an issue verifying because these engines sit off centered in the engine bay, especially if you have a radiator in the way, like I don't, with my semi V mount status. Um, I actually found this pin and just kind of lined it, lined it up with the center of the camshaft, it was the easiest way for me to get that at 12 o'clock. And you want 20 pins or 11 links. This was kind of fuzzy on some of the other videos. Those 20 pins should start from the inside of this dot to the inside of that dot on your intake and exhaust camshaft. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty dots. More 11 links. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Another thing you can do is your intake and exhaust cam should be facing like 180 degrees out. And you can actually rotate the engine through to make sure your cam timing is good. This is kind of how I verified. So as you rotate the engine, you can watch the valves actually move. So at the bottom of the power stroke, let's see if I can get this like as clear as I can. I'm gonna make sure. You see your exhaust from the bottom of this piston travel. You'll see the exhaust can or exhaust valve starts to open. So if that starts to open too early or too late, then you know your timing's probably off. Another thing I found out about these engines is there is no overlap on exhaust and intake stroke. A lot of engines have valve overlap on your exhaust stroke. Your intake valve will actually start to open to cool your exhaust valve. And these have no overlap whatsoever. So your exhaust valve closes as the piston travels up. And your intake valves don't open until the piston starts to go down. Maybe that's why a lot of people do adjustable cam gears to help that out. See your intake valve open as the piston starts to go down. There's no overlap. So if you have overlap, then your links are off. Back on your compression stroke. You can hear it trying to make compression. So you gotta bear with me, I've got a little ratcheting wrench down here. It'll fit between my inner cooler. You're back on your 20 dots. Make sure you hit that second dot on the distributor. 